Hello everyone and welcome to Good Friday of Passion Week. This is a day that we as Christians commemorate the crucifixion of Christ. It was a somber, horrific, and gruesome day some 2,000 years ago. I want us to look at what the Gospel of John says about this particular time in John chapter 19, beginning with verse 1. John says, So then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him. Now when they scourged him, they beat Jesus with their fists, and they sped upon him, they yanked out his beard, and then they took a whip called the flagellum whip that was laced with iron balls as well as bone fragments. And this whip was designed to inflict much pain upon a person that was being flogged. It would also lacerate their skin, and many of them would die from shock while they was being flogged uh, with this flagellum whip. And then verse 2 says, And the soldiers twisted a crown of thorns, and they put it upon his head, and they put a purple robe upon him. And this crown that they used had about 72 thorns upon it, and these thorns would pierce his scalp, or his scalp would be bleeding profusely. Verse 4 says, Then they said, Hail to the king of the Jews, and they struck him with their hands. And then Pilate took him, and they brought him before them and said, Behold, I bring him to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Verse 5 says, Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorn and the purple robe, and Pilate said to them, Behold the man. And then verse 6 says, Therefore, when the chief priests and the officers heard him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate says, you crucify him because I find no fault in him. And then the Jews answered him and said, we have a law that according to them, we ought to, someone ought to die because he made himself the son of God. As they crucified him, they crucified him hanging up on the cross and they pulled out his shoulder. They pulled it out of joint. And this fulfilled the prophecy in Psalm 22 and 14 that says, his bones shall be out of joint. And then while Jesus was hanging there on the cross, he had seven last sayings that we've heard so often. The first saying was, he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The second saying was, today shall thou be with me in paradise. He was speaking to one of the thieves that hung beside him that says, if you be the son of God, then remember me when you come into your father's house. The third saying was, woman, behold thy son. The fourth saying was, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The fifth saying was, I thirst. The sixth saying was, it is finished. And the seventh saying was, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Now, Jesus died on the, in the ninth hour or around about 3 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. He gave up the ghost. And then Joseph of Aramea went to Pilate and asked Pilate to take Jesus' body. And then he laid him in the borrowed tomb because Jesus was only going to use his tomb for a few days. And so all night Friday night, Jesus laid there in the tomb. And all day Saturday, he laid there in the tomb. And then all night Saturday night, he laid there in the tomb. But all oh, just know, Sunday morning is coming. May God bless you. May he keep you is our prayer.